I don't know. Am I on mute? Here, am I on mute? Hello? Check, check. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I was just checking to see. Sometimes I put my mic on mute. No one could hear anything? Okay, here we go. Okay, you guys, this is a live show. Apparently, no one could hear anything, so I was like, bah, 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 bah. no. So, you guys, I'm Ani, creator of the Jewel Tool, and on yesterday's show, I showed you guys my haul of stones. God, there's more. There's more. Um, and one of the items I bought was this moonstone that had chipped. And they felt so bad that it had fallen and it, and it cracked. And I said, hey, I could use that on my show. And so they're like, okay. It's not like I got it for free, y'all. <laughs> still had to pay for a broken stone. But it still has value. And yeah, and they probably knew. Yeah, they know I could fix it. They totally know. Yeah. They actually even have a jewel tool. I forgot to tell you that, Yara. Their jewelry department was telling me, yeah, they have a jewel tool. So you guys, I'm going to repair this moonstone that I just bought this week on the jewel tool. And it's going to be really quick and easy, you guys. So, you know, everyone has a little droppy, oopsie moment. But I said earlier, have no fear. The jewel tool is near and can fix this. So I'm going to use the grinding wheels to grind and shape it. And then I'll follow with the sanding diamond all the way to the high polish, probably like my 8,000 and 50,000 to get a really nice high polish on the moonstone. So this is a moonstone, y'all. Uh, I don't know how hard a stone. Uh, you know what? Honest to God, the best way to test how hard a stone is is when you go to the like the extra course, like these diamonds. Well, there's the extra, extra course. But when, as soon as you hit it to one of the coarser diamonds, it will start telling you how fast, like the rate, the cut rate, how fast it's taking material off. If it's taking material off like nice and fast, then it's a little bit of a softer stone. If you see that it's that stone is holding on for dear life and giving you a little. It's a harder stone. Like, but you know, the harder stones are going to be your agates, your petrified wood, some quartz. It's all Googleable. But honest to God, before, by the time I Google and try to figure out the stone's you know, uh, hardness, I just take it straight to my flex diamond and I grind it. And then that tells me everything. If it's grinding fast, then the stone is on the softer side. If it's taking a while to grind, it's a hard little sucker. It's that simple, you guys. Just test it with this. That there, there's your, there's your solving. Uh, what? So yeah. So the kit that does everything, whether you're working on hard stones or soft stones, the kit right here has it all. That's like the full deluxe kit. End of story. But like you, or let's say you primarily work on softer stones. We have a soft stone kit. And let's say that once you have the soft stone kit, you want to now upgrade to do more harder stones. Say you like your eye has been on those fire agates or some of the quartz and whatnot. You know, um, all you have to do is buy the upgrade diamond kit. And there you go. You went from soft stone kit to the full deluxe kit all by upgrading your kit. So everything is buildable, you know? We're like Legos. Someone who someone compared me to Barbie. <laughs> you just got to get that Barbie Corvette. You just got to get the other <laughs> the house. You need to get Ken's car, you know? <laughs> I love those days, Barbie. So you guys, I'm going to get started. Um let me see who's here. Heidi, oh no. Oh. Okay, so you guys, I just want to let you guys know that I sent a message out before I went live that we, we were going to post all the stones live on my website. And uh, uh, the stones already went, that what I mean is they're online, available to be purchased. And I just got a message from someone and said, oh my God, I'm so bummed. The ones I wanted are sold out. But let me tell you guys something. 
if you see something that's sold out just so you know i'm going to be back there to pick up some more of my stuff that i that they couldn't um, weigh and process for me so i'll be there again so if there's anything like you know I, obviously that same stone i can't find but trust and believe there was more there is more of that family genre this is just what i could grab really quick to be honest with you so don't fret <laughs> You know what's funny? I was just about to show the the large, the pretty sapphire. They went like hotcakes, like hot Susan. So I was just about to show this, and then Kristen goes, "Put it down. It's sold." And I go, "Okay." <laughs> and I was gonna show this one. These are the sapphires, you guys. They're still. This is still available. I mean, come on. We've been live for like what, 15 minutes? So I still have this one. Se seven minutes, yeah. So there's still lots of stuff. The turquoise chunk. Can I have that turquoise chunk? Yara put these up kind of fast, and he didn't really measure them. But just I want you guys to get a scope. We put a little nickel that we took from Kristen just to show how big this is. I just want you guys to know it's pretty. It's. It's. I called it. I Yara called it the super nugget. <laughs> I call it my chunky monkey. You know, so just so you know, it's like it's a it's 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 a nice chunk. I mean, everyone kept telling me, Ani, slice it and sell it. You'll make more money off of it. Remember, this is not my ish. I'm doing this for you guys. If you guys want me to slice them, I'll have Yaro slice them. <laughs> but Susan said you missed them. Oh man, okay. Okay, no worries. Listen, Susan, I'm going to be going back there again. So um, I already kind of, uh, Kristen actually jotted down some of your requests that you guys said. So I'll even hunt for more. This way I'll have more of a direct plan, I would say, and have them pre-pull some of those items so I don't waste time being there and I don't run out of time. So, yeah, so you guys anything you have a request i will personally go and p pick them and hand pick them and whatever they show me is always going to be top top of the line just so you guys know so that's that is there and then uh <laughs> you guys are so <laughs> you know me i want to please you all so like when you guys say that i'm like I need to get more Yara let's go <laughs> let's go tomorrow let's go let's go do another haul tomorrow you guys so um, I'm gonna fix the moonstone and so actually after here after I fix this moonstone because I like it so much and a lot of people liked it and it's so pretty I love the way it has the blue and then that little sexy streak down the middle do you guys see that um, I'm gonna put this up for sale yeah i will why not it's what it, ca it came out of the collection we just it just happened to drop right then and there and broke so i'll fix it there it's been fixed by ani i polish for you <laughs> so you guys i'm gonna start working on this if you have any other questions shoot them my way you know me multitask i hear it i can tell you what's happening and work on this at the same time i hope you guys are having a fabulous day i miss you all already <laughs> um, but i'm going to take a little look see at my phone to see who's here oh man okay wow son of a gun someone just sent me a message and said she had her two labradorites in her cart by the time she checked out they were sold out i'm sorry guys but it's okay there'll be more i promise you guys there'll be more Ah, uh, yarrow says you know how like there's a twin in the universe honest to god when the the like for example let's just say the la uh, there was plenty stones like just just for labradorites those are what i could grab within my short window i mean if they prepare and know what i look want they'll have those trays ready for me so I can go and pick which ones speak to me. Honest to God, these all spoke to me. So even the one that broke, I think this one wanted me to grind it. <laughs> pick me, pick me, Ani. So I did. So, okay. 
So here we go, you guys. And all the pinch bales are up, you guys. And the hinge bale that I showed you guys, the uh, yellow gold one. Oh, they have so many. So I am going to say hi to everybody. Hold on. Let me get to my jewel tool is live. Where is that? Did I get a notification? I don't even think I got a notification. The jewel tool. Oh, jewel tool is live now. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Shh. She's so loud, this girl, Ani. Um, hi, hello, Glenda. Please get more stones and bales. I will, Glenda. Glenda, if you hear me, I will get more stones and bales. They had more. Honest to God. It's like I almost want to do a live from there and say, do you guys like this bale? <laughs> hi, Martina. Hi, Marcy. Ani, oh, Heidi. Ani, the stone whisperer. I'm not telling, I'm not kidding, Heidi. They really do, like, it's funny. They would go, oh, Ani, this stone is a good seller look how beautiful this is and i look at it and i don't want to be rude but i look at it and i go no and i put it down and they're like looking at me the stones have energy and i'm telling you guys they talk so i want only stones that carry good energy good energy is going to translate into making you happy then it'll translate into making the customer happy to want to purchase it. There's something. You look at a stone and it pops at you. There's something about it. You know what I mean? So I am the stone whisperer in a crazy kind of way. Heidi. <laughs> oh, my God. I love you guys. I love your comments, you guys. Aw, Susan. I know. Susan, don't worry. I got your back, girlfriend. Uh-oh. Uh I want the turquoise. Yes, I don't know if that turquoise is sold, uh, Lisa, but I know it's up. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Carolyn Store. And there's so many other people watching. I can't see it. Oh, something else. Someone else bought something. Okay, so. Oh, hello. Shh. Oh, that's me talking. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Melanie. Hello, Karen. Hi, Danielle Woody. Hello. Hello, there's some more people that I can't see. Glenda, I just love those purple hearts. Let me tell you, you and the purple lights just make my day. It like really makes me happy looking at those. No, you don't understand. Glenda, Yaro's like, what are you talking about? Glenda has these cute purple lights that she puts around her motorhome. And they just make me happy every time I see her post. So just so you know, Glenda, I love those posts. Keep them coming. Gives me life. Oh, that's a good way. So who said this? Vanessa on YouTube says she totally understands how the stones talk to you. She says all her crystals picked her. I, I got, okay, here comes the goosebumps. Crazy Ani over here. I promise you guys, they picked me. Look, these are goosebumps, you guys. These are goosebumps, okay? They really do pick me. Like, I'm telling you guys, this one screamed. Like, it had to fall on the floor and break to say, pick me, you crazy lady. <laughs> okay, you guys. So I'm having lots of fun saying hi to everyone. I'm going to grind this sucker and fix it real quick, you guys. Watch how I do it. Enough talking. Enough of the chit-chat. And really, you guys, I will get more stones at fantastic prices. I told you, you guys, I'll just pass the savings along to you. I love going there. You don't have to twist this arm to go there again. Any chance I get. Okay, so um, let's do this. Let's, let's do this. Uh, Carol says the stones talk to her through the internet. So let me add some water down here. This is actually the one I was drinking yesterday. Yep, I'll just take a little sipsy sue right there. All right, so this is the stone, you guys. Look, isn't that pretty? The moonstones are so pretty. They have like this really pretty like blue ish look to them i don't know but i like this it has a sexy line going through it see that okay so we're gonna grind obviously this tip that broke so um i'm just gonna start grinding the size i want to try to keep it kind of the same it's gonna get smaller but i don't i want to keep that line in the same shape so i'm gonna probably grind from this tip right there where my two fingers are and go down like this so I want to follow that design. You guys see what I mean? So I don't want to lose the original shape because I like it. 
If I didn't like it, I could change it. You know that. I can change what I can do whatever I want. Okay. So you guys, I'm gonna grind. Let's see what I'm gonna grind with. Let's grind with the extra course, because I know a lot of you guys have this right now. Where's my extra course? Here. Here's my extra course diamond. Look. Let's go ahead and clean you. Get you some fresh diamond exposed. So just so you know, you guys, diamonds should last a good while. They shouldn't wear down. They're very thick, the backing of these. You know, they have a long life. So this is my extra course. Put this sucker on here. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim like about right here. Kind of keep it very s like here. Yes, I still want the point. So I'm not going to go for a sharp point immediately, you guys. So basically, this is kind of my my shape. And you know, you guys, the jewel tool is so friendly. It'll do this pretty much for me. So that's why majority of the time you guys see, I don't measure anything. I barely draw anything. It. Why, Yar? I have to. Okay, I don't have to make it that pointy, okay? But at least it gives me a guidance. Yara says he doesn't want it that pointy. Okay, we won't make it that pointy. Okay, okay, okay. We won't do it. So look, we'll just grind it right here. So remember, we're going to grind about... Oh, wait, let me get let me get into the frame. So here we are. We're going to grind that the sides down to fix the broken tip using the diamond. Put some water here and just gently hold it, you guys. You don't want to push a moonstone like it oh nice lisa congratulations since she announced it i usually don't tell people what they bought i like to keep people's you know purchases private but since lisa commented congratulations lisa on your nugget purchase and do you guys see how fast that was so i'm not, not going to grind as much but look at how smooth and easy that was look you see, and then we'll smooth that perfect, you know, bring it in. But that was fast, huh? While I was just congratulating Lisa. So the whole idea is don't push. You, when you push, you guys, you actually give the stone, like, it, it, it's stress. You're putting stress on the stone. And look, already without me pushing, I already accomplished this. So whether or not I want to do more, I can start grinding, you guys, the, um, what do you call it, the tip, and start to see, see already we've done this much. You guys see that? Oh, wow, you can really see it from the back, huh? Crazy. And so I'm going to just start rolling this over to get a visual of what this teardrop is going to look like. You know what I mean? So look, do you guys see how it's a sharp corner? Like, I don't want to go into the grinding wheel because sometimes moonstones can be flaky. Watch how I'm going to approach this grind. Watch this, you guys. Lightly. I'm just going to, like, lightly roll. Like, lightly. You guys don't understand. I'm just kind of going into it because I want to start a nice roll. I don't want to grind so much that it'll flake off or chip off. So just a light little touch, you guys, and I've already accomplished this. Do you guys see that? It's already smooth. It's not as pointy. Okay? So let's just go a little bit more. And now since it's rolling, you just kind of... Because if it broke once, you guys, you know, you don't want to agitate it anymore. Do you hear what I'm saying? You know, Moonstone has like oh see already look you guys already we're almost there you guys see i didn't even touch this corner yet and i and i made it match i mean i had to connect basically you see that so now we'll go here and bring it together all together now and there just a light little touch you guys is all you need and if i like this tip i'll keep it i think i want it a little bit more pointier and that's easy to do you guys super easy so I'm just going to go ahead and grind a little here. Now we're going to start creating the cab. Just a little, not so much. Just a little. Remember, you don't want to push. You can easily shake off some flakes, and you don't want that to happen. Already I fixed that side. 
That looks good. Now let me go ahead and hit this side to bring it a little pointy. And I think we'll be good to go. Right, Yaro? Have you seen it? So let me go ahead and create a little bit on the there. So there we go. And see how that looks. You know, you can take, oh, that's looking really good already. So at this point, you guys, I'm going to get rid of the, the Sharpie because that's kind of confusing me. And I kind of like where we're at right here. Just a little bit more there, and I think I'm good to go. What do you guys think? I'm going to look at the comments. While I'm grinding, I can see the comments. Oh, ooh, can that be carved to look like a leaf? A leaf? You know what? No. Helen, for the moonstone, I don't, this is not a stone that you carve. This stone is not a stone. Oh, that looks good, you guys. What do you guys think? I think that looks good. I'm going to grind a little here and create more of like a cap. So now, you guys, I'm going to actually go here and hold on. Let me go ahead and take my silver Sharpie. So I'm going to go here, you guys, kind of bring it in because it's, it's too tall on the sides and kind of bring it in like a little cap. Do you, because I don't know how porous it is, but I'll just t touch it a little so you guys can see. So as you can see, you guys, it's tall here, there. You guys see that? So I have to now, I'm going to grind this corner right there down and then create a cab. I had already started doing it here. You guys can see it. I'll do the same at the top. You guys see that? So let's go ahead and do that. And it's just very light, you guys. Don't rush. You know? So do you guys see? Look. Immediately, I just got that corner down. Do you guys see that? And so now, as soon as I get the corner down to my desired height to match the rest, you can take it and just roll real quick and just roll it right into it, and that should do it. And there we go. Look at that. I'll just do the rest with, a f uh, with the other diamond. Because, you know, if it's flaky, you guys, you don't want to do too much with the extra coarse. There we go. And there, we got that nice and smooth. And voila, looks good. Get rid of any kind of sharp edges. You guys see how this is nicely rounded over? You guys see how these are perfectly done? Now this, you need to kind of kill that edge. Kill that edge. You don't want this because those could cause trouble when you're setting them. And there you go. Ani got rid of the edge. See, that edge is nice and smooth now. Beautiful. Very nice and smooth. Okay, so there you go. So I will put this up for a seal after we're done with the show. How about that, Yaro? There you go. That looks really pretty. You guys like this? Let me see. Hi, Carolyn. Oh, Helen, you are so welcome. Hello, Paula, Ruben. Looks good, huh? Uh, hi, Heidi. Thank you. Thank you, Ellie. Okay. Okay, I read all your guys. Hi, Carolyn Moran. Lisa, I'm so excited that you got that turquoise. Hi, guys. I see the love. Hi, Debbie. Here, Debbie, I'm sending you love back. I'm sending love to all of you guys. So we repaired that little chippy de poo you guys see that? So now I will switch it off. You guys, I, so we we're at the extra course just to recap what I used. Okay. And then now I will use, like you can use the course or you can go straight to the medium, whichever you feel comfortable with. Um, I actually want to use this only because I didn't want to do too much of the extra course because I didn't want flakiness. So I'm going to use this. And here, here's another hint. If you guys still want to grind and you, s you feel as though this is just not enough, then I highly recommend getting the medium fine of the, what's it called? Of the dime, of the, of these. They come in the, this also comes in medium fine. And yeah, almost there. So just so you guys know, this comes in a finer grade which would be less chippity doo dah, like you know. So if you feel as though you still need to grind, but you th this is a little too aggressive, then 
get the one that I'm trying to find it here. This is more of the finer one. See, it's a little finer, but it still grinds. Like, let me just show you real quick. Ah, uh, so look. I'm so happy. So you guys see how finer it is as far as the grinding goes? You see? It's a little bit finer and it doesn't do chippity doo da, but it's a little, it's, w it's a way more aggressive than this one. So just so you know, there are different. <laughs> Heidi, <laughs> Heidi, I love you. <laughs> Heidi just sent me a funny message. But you guys can't see it. It's a private message, but that was funny, Heidi. I know Heidi is a pretty little sucker, huh? Hold on. So let's go ahead. Hi, Laura. Laura's watching. Laura. So I'm going to put this at medium speed because it's the four inch. And I'll use the here. Oh, here. Let me show you guys what I'm doing. Hold on. I'm going to sand it here, sand it there a little bit on the face, on the corners. And oh, it's wet. Hold on. Hold on. It's, it's wet and just right here just to give you an idea of what I'm doing and how I'm doing it there there we go so watch I just kind of glide right over it you guys you guys see that oh and it's light I Yaro, can you just show a side view of how like light it is I'm so not putting any pressure you guys it's like light as a feather. I'm just gliding over it. You don't need to. The wonderful thing about 3M Diamond is the second that you make contact, it begins to cut. The reason why older, yeah, the reason why like diamonds, people like who have older cab machines, that diamond technology back in the day, you had to push hard to get the diamonds to release off of the disc. Well, 3M's technology, well, the, their diamonds are like little soldiers, I always say. They're perfectly aligned to cut the second you decide to touch. So there we go. Nice and light. You guys see light. You know, pushing and fa doing it fast will never win the race. You'll like break the stone. And you have everything going for you. No vibration. You know what I mean? Look, so all right, we're not even touching the rest of the stone. Isn't that lovely? And it looks really good. I actually like this. Look at that. Woo! Okay, so now we're start going to get to the finer stages. So that was the course. Now, okay, so now that I got my shape and everything, you don't have to worry about how perfect everything is, but just make sure you got everything. Like you can't, so I always say if you go slow, you guys, you won't miss anything. It's when you start doing things fast is where you, you miss it. You know what I mean? So watch it. Watch how I handle every little step of the way here. Watch this. So I'll, I'll go through the side slow. Look, ready? Nice and slow. You guys see that? One or two passes slow. Roll it in there. Roll it in there. One more pass. One more pass. There you go. Show side view. Just, well, my hand's in the way. Okay, there. Just real quick passes. You know, maybe I'll go over them one, two times. But once I go over them, I really don't revisit them. So now I move on. So move on. Change your rub pattern a little if you want, if there's some annoying scratches. You know, don't keep the same scratch pattern. Change it up. You have a jewel tool. You can do whatever you want you know, and then add some water. And then so we're going to do the tip now. Just be careful. Don't push the tip. So now I'll hit the other side. Just a light little touch. You guys see that? A little off the corner. Yeah, hit the corner a little. Beautiful. Uh huh. And then watch how I'll do the, the bring in that corner. There we go. Really? And so I pretty much got every square inch of everything. And look, I have a little black mark right here that tells me I didn't do the tip yet. Just do it a little smooth, little smooth right here, little right there. Kind of get that corner a little too. You don't want it to be not polished. And I think I'm done. Let me just make sure I got that tip nice and smooth. And you know, if you do see like there's one spot that you kind of missed, 
this you still have an opportunity to smooth it and get it nice you know but other than that everything looks good to me here you know i like where we're going here everything looks good what do you guys think looks good yes nice heidi it's true just barely touch the stone to the surface she says that's one of the be one of the best things she's learned I'm so glad you were able to learn that because it, in the long run, you guys, listen, it'll not only save you on your wheels, it'll save you from, you know, stone destruction. And w the, the one thing I hear a lot is, you guys, um, how come I got to the polish and I still have scratches? Well, because you were rushing, you know, the whole way through. So take your time, you guys, and take care of of each little spot so you don't have to go over it but you know but there's a time where you're like you know i didn't see that scratch you have to go back and just pinpoint that one little area you shouldn't have to do the whole darn thing all over again you know what i mean so just do it quick you know the first time you know do it you know do it like slow the first time around there we go nice and smooth there we go. Already we get a nice smoother finish. You guys see that? Already you get a finer finish. And then I'm just going to continue here. So just hold it there smooth. Make sure all those scratches are gone. Don't sip through it so fast. You know, you want to make sure you got all of those done. Aw, you're so welcome, Vanessa. Vanessa just thanked me for the jewel tool and for my live shows. My pleasure. Here, I'll polish the rest of it. <laughs> there we go. That should do it. I think that's good. Okay, so that's that. What, who's laughing at what? What? I know. <laughs> Laura's so funny. <laughs> you liked it, huh, Laura? Actually, let me use... Where's my old diamond? Oh, old good faithful, you guys. Remember this guy? He's still around. So all of you guys that say, you know, I don't know. How long do those diamonds last? Um, just go through um, my last four or five months now. <laughs> how long have we been doing these lives? Um, I started using this when it was already used. So, and I've done many many all sorts of stones and shapes and sizes with this exact very fine so until it breaks and down and it gives me no more that's when i'll stop using it until then until it goes down to the film but other than that so here i'm not gonna mark it you guys but you should be able to get this shine already just to show you guys what you should see off of the very fine this is what you guys should see already do you guys see that so we're pretty much down at the last of the home stretch right here. I'm doing this a little slow to show you guys. So I exaggerate my movements a little bit. But you know, when it comes to a stone, especially a stone that you knew, know that something happened. Uh Oh, you guys are hilarious. Yara, you <laughs> we're gonna be fair. Yara, put it up on the screen. <laughs> So like I'm just going over to make sure all those little fine scratches are gone. And you guys see them already? It's so hard to tell. You guys see it? It's already shiny, shiny. Yeah, right there. There you go. Right there. So that's that. Even the very fine is really nice. But you know, I'm going to take it this baby to a 50,000. Glenda, didn't I polish your moonstone in Tucson? I think I did. Glenda, didn't I polish? Glenda, are you still watching? 
Glenda, if you're still watching, didn't I polish your moonstone in Tucson? Just trying to remember. I think I did, Glenda. That was you. I remember laughing and having a fun time with you. Still a time. Yes, Bonnie. That's right. That's my girl, Bonnie. So I think I'm done. I'm kind of overkilling it, but I just want to show you guys how I go over it, you know? And there. Yes, Glenda, I remember. We had so much fun that day. I, that I cherish that day. Looks good. So now, you guys, you can see it's still from the original polish to this. It's still a little cloudy. So guess what we do, you guys? We go to the 8,000 and then the 50,000. So there you go. And there you go. We're done. Yay. Hi, Becky. Okay, so here we go. Hi, D. How are you, D? So we're just polishing with the 50,000. Oh, yes, this looks good. Kind of bring it in all together. Now I'm kind of, you guys, if you notice, with the 8,000, I'm now blending it with the rest of it. So if you look, look, let me show you a little line of what I'll do. So do you guys see? So now I, I was rarely touching this part. So if you guys see, I, I will bring it together. You know, I will now with the 8,000, like allow that same polish to me melt with the rest. You guys see that? I'm kind of introducing the, the, the two different polishes together, and it looks really good. Oh, uh, Wendy, you know, I'm going to post the amber after I polish it. So hang in there, Wendy. Wendy, if you want, I can put it up. It'll be yours. So I'll, I want to do the amber. Maybe, should I do the amber tomorrow? I forgot about the amber. I can, what do you think? What? Oh, I can't tell you. Yeah, I can't tell you. I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm all people happy. I like to please everybody. No, so Wendy, I'll actually Yeah, I can't do that. No, no, no. So listen. I I think I'll I'll try to do the amber tomorrow. But the all I wanted to do was show you how to polish it. And then I'll put it for sale. It'll kind of be like a situation like this one. Carolyn, no, turquoise cabs? Oh, any. Oh, oh, no, I actually have, no, I didn't get any turquoise cabs. Um, but I will look for them when I didn't get a chance, you guys. Like, you don't understand. This place is like, like. Yes, yeah, so. Yes, yes. Yes, look, Bonnie, here, let me stop. This is a very important question. This, that's a good question, Bonnie. Bonnie just asked me, should she skip the 3,000 grade diamond? Now, no. Um, Bonnie, when I know you work on hard stones like agate, petrified wood, even some quartz, really, you guys, or sapphires, anything in corundum, do not step Stop, do not skip the 3,000 grit. Now, if you guys don't know what language I'm speaking, let me show you. So she's talking, mine are like so old. I, this is when we used to write on them. Here, hold on. No, 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 do it forward. I can't get all of this on the overhead here. Okay, so look. So you guys, what she's talking about are the brown diamonds. So she, this is step one, 3,000. Don't look at step two. That was I'm telling you, this is so old. It, we used to have a step before this. So 3,000 
I know. And then you got step two, 8,000. Wait, where am I? Crap. Nope, wrong hand. <laughs> step two, hold on. Step two, 8,000, okay? And then you have step three, 50,000. So the reason why I'm doing the 8,000 and 50,000 only is because the Moonstone is not that hard. And I know that my 8,000 will combat the scratches from the very fine. You see what I'm saying? So the very fine almost replaces the 3,000. Okay, they're very similar in grit, but when you're working with hard stones, the 3,000 is a necessary step, Bonnie, so you're doing good. Do you use the 3,000. It depends on the hardness. So a lot of the stones, you'll see me skip the 3,000, but the reason why the 3,000 is still in the kit and not removed is because there are times when you need this baby. So, so that's why I keep the 3,000 alive. But it, you look how old mine is. I don't use it all the time, but I have used it when I needed it. It's there. So it's not, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. I remember. We, we actually filmed that Moonstone, Glenda. It's one of the YouTube videos on, um, on, on, my, on my channel. So there's a YouTube video with me and Glenda Moore um, in Tucson just this year before the craziness hit of me polishing her moonstone. That was actually, that was a good moon. That was a big size moonstone too. I remember that, Glenda. It was just coming to me. So I was doing the 50,000, you guys. Already you can see, I already hit it already and you can see the polish is identical, if not better. You can always get a better polish with our 50,000. So here, let's continue. So I'm just going to roll it. Look look at how I hold it. 50,000 needs to get rubbed. Like hold it in one spot and let it do a few rotations on it. Kind of like to the point where it almost wants to feel like it's pulling it out of your hand and you're pulling it in this way. So like, do you guys see the shine already? Like, look at that. Do you see that? So we've got a beautiful, it's already beautifully polished to be honest. Thank you, Susan. I love you. Susan just said my makeup is on point today. You know, Susan, when I put my makeup on fast, I always get compliments on it. When I spend time, for some reason, I don't. So today was a fast makeup job. I did it really quick, so thank you. Thank you, Susan. I appreciate that compliment. Oh my God, you're right, uh, Lisa. You can totally do, yes, people love stones for chakra balancing. Lisa says she could totally get lost in, um, what's it called, in that, the, the place that I went. So I'm just polishing everywhere, you guys. You know, so even if you get a new stone, it's not that the stone wasn't polished properly. It's just sometimes you guys, they touch other stones and they mix and match. And so the other stones actually lend to them getting a little bit not as shiny. But this is pretty good. I'll be honest with you. I really don't have to do much to this one. This is really nice. This is really, really nice. So I will put this up for sale right after my live. Yaro has, the only picture Yaro has of this, Yaro, is the broken one. So you can put this one up with a broken picture because everyone knows what it looks like. Duh. Just make sure it's... Okay. Okay, Yara says just do your thing. Basically, stay in your own lane, Ani. Stick to your day job, toots. Oh my God, it looks so good. Okay, just one more pass just for good measure because that's how I like to do things. And there, we're done. And that would... Wow. I get to look at it now. Woo! Look at that. That actually looks really pretty. Really, really pretty. So we got all that nice. All of this is nice and shiny. Look at that. Woo! All the tip nice and shiny. Sides nice and shiny. Look at how even that is. Yeah, so 
This is a good opportunity. If you guys want to see how I polish a stone, this is a good way to analyze what I do. <laughs> right, Kristen? Isn't that a funny way? Like they can look at exactly how I polished something. You know, mimic my exact. Actually, I want to polish a little bit here on the side. I didn't even notice that. That compared to my polish, you guys see how wet that is? And then look over here. It's not as polished. We'll take care of that. No problem. This jewel tool, just give it a little polish right there. Just hold it slowly and it'll blend right into it. Look at that. You guys see how I brought that polish up? You see that? And then now it matches mine. Look at that. I'll just do it. So even if you want to just touch up stones that you bought, you guys, you can eat. This is pretty good, this side. I should. I don't have to worry about this side. But like just the 50,000 will do a quick little, you know, sprucing up for you. You know? So there. Ta -da! Oh, I didn't even put the vacuum on. So you guys like this? Oh, Helen said she would like an... Oh, you guys. You guys, I would love... Helen, you're so cute. I would enjoy an Ani makeup tutorial. You guys don't understand. I would love to do a makeup tutorial. You know, from my vanity t uh, uh, desk at my house with all my makeup. Like going stone shopping is like going makeup shopping. Like you can't have enough. Like each one has a purpose. Each one has a color. Each one, you know what I mean? So I love makeup. It just makes me happy. What can I say? You know, um, so when is she going to show how we can erase wrinkles with the jewel tool, Susan? Susan, however, I can give you some of my beauty tips. <laughs> Kristen's laughing. <laughs> however, I, 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 I have good tips of smoothing out your pores, keeping everything flawless, you know? I can share my tips. I have no problem. I'm such a sharer. Aw, thank you, Debbie Rogers. You're beautiful, too. It's an art. Oh, me, too. Helen, you're so cute. Paula, you're so cute. I love all you guys. Um, and then, so there you go. <laughs> Susan. Susan, you're quite the funny one today, aren't you? Okay. Yes, good, Bonnie. Good, I'm glad you heard that. On point. Yes, all right, you guys. Aww. Oh, who says I'm missing everything? I'll watch the replay. Mm, Deborah. Here, give me. I sent you guys love. I love you guys. So, you guys, we did it. It's pretty. Yara, zoom in. And that is, to be honest with you, some of these stones look really pretty under natural sunlight. All you guys see here is fake light. For real, Yara, right? Some of the, the uh, uh, honest to God, so the pictures that you guys see that Yarrow actually posted on the website for the Labradorite, you guys, when I tell you guys I was just sitting on my kitchen island it, while I was on a conference call because it was getting a little boring, when I'm not, when I don't lie to you guys, look at what this says yesterday. Yesterday I took this, Yarrow, do the timestamp right there. Yesterday, can you see it? Hold on. Witty. Okay, so there it was. Yesterday at 12 p.m., I shot this picture sitting on my stool over my kitchen counter. So I'm telling all these pictures, all of them. Look, this is just my fingers. So if you guys see, this is, these were all my fingers. These were all me. Yeah, and I left my fingers there just to show you guys the scale of the actual piece. You know, my fingers are not, you know, that small and not big, but it's a good reference point. See, these are all, I took them all. And Yara used every single one of them. Because he says, he says, honest to God, he says, natural light made these stones so much prettier. It's true what I do with the stone. Okay, so you guys, that was a quick little fixier, fixer upper, right? I mean, it's such a pretty stone. And I'm telling you, this stone has good energy because it really wanted me to do something with it. So I will make this available, you guys, and it will go to a happy home soon. And, I, th you know, you guys, I just want to say, so the more I look at the stone, the more I realize that whatever broke ha was, was already broken. I feel like it was weak at the tip. 
because it was already weak. So if it was stood, well, wherever it broke was the weakest point. And as I ground it, I could tell that there was no more weak points at the tip. So this stone is secure. Because if I felt that this stone was, you know, still brittle, I would definitely tell you, and that is not a stone I would like to, I would not want anyone to deal with a brittle stone. So this has passed the Ani test. I put my stamp on it. Pachink. So let me go ahead and put this here. I still love this. I don't know. Did anyone buy this? I love my sapphire. If not, I want it. I'm going to make a pretty pendant out of this. I just better not drop it. So this is that sapphire, you guys. I don't know. But I like this one. I love the unique shape. I would probably do it like this so it fits like this. Hold on. I just kept looking at this one. And then this one was a sexy one. But I already know who got this one. Someone already got this one. I won't say who it is, but you know who you are. You're, wa you're watching. It's okay, Yara. It's okay. Let's not show what's already sold. And Lisa Jacober, this one's going to you. If I could throw it to you, I catch it, Lisa. Pong. It's nice. It's cute. Want me to grind it, see what it looks like? No, I, <laughs> I actually test everything. So everything has passed the Ani test. So you guys, I'm so excited you guys like the stones, but I'll be going back for more because I have to. I actually put stones aside. I got to go and get them. <laughs> Nicole, you're so cute. I love you. Okay, you guys, um, what was I going to say? I'm looking at your last comments. Yes, it, that is true. Honestly, these th I'm under some serious hot lights, Bonnie. Yeah, Bonnie said that. So that the blue does show through even under the hot uh, these their hot lights. Not only they're hot, you guys. I'm like sweating. Kristen has the air on, but Kristen, I'm telling you, you could turn me into a little rotisserie chicken right now. <laughs> okay, so what are you guys saying? Okay. Diana Schnitzka said, I already bought mine. I know what you bought, Diana. I saw. You were one of the first. <laughs> I saw. Lisa says, I'm, woo -hoo, I'm ready. I know you guys. Yes, Nicole says, I was thinking that that would be a cool, a good cuff stone, but I'm thinking that moonstone would be a killer statement ring. Oh, my God. Right? You guys have such good ideas. I love you. You're that, you're a share. Oh, I try tips, please. Oh, oh, you guys really want my tips? I'm dying to do a makeup tutorial. I'm dying to share my, what I put on my face, what you can buy, my secrets. And you know, you guys, I am not, I used to be one of those women that spent some obscene amount of money for stupid creams, like really. And then I would be like, doing jack squat. You know, I, so I am that person, hand to God. I want to say when I was like 30, 31, maybe 29, I fell prey to Lemur cream, face cream. You know Lemur? You know Lemur? Lemur, la expensive bottle of Crisco? That one, yes. So I fell prey to that thinking that, oh, I need to get this. I promise you guys, I bought it. I spent $100 on this bottle of Crisco. And I wore it, I put it on, and oh my God, you guys, my face broke out so bad. I literally went back to Neiman Marcus in Beverly Hills. Had no shame either, because everyone like will shame you for returning something there. I just want you to know. I went back and I went like this, put it on the counter. And here's my receipt, I want my money back. And the lady went, oh, why are you returning it? Usually no one returns this. I'm like, it made me break. I want my money back, darling. Give me my money back. I don't want it. So you guys, I don't spend expensive. I don't spend money on expensive stuff. I have, I kind of said, I've figured out cool things and natural things to use. I use it on my face. And, and I'm a lazy face kind of person. So don't think I have like, like a 10 step uh, regimen. I'm not. Okay, so Yaro says I can't stop. I can't talk about makeup anymore. I have to answer question. Uh, yes. So um, they had more pinch bales. 
I didn't go through them. Deb, you want gold pinch bales? Let me look. Let me look, and I'll get back to you. Uh, like, I know. Yara's like, I told you about this. Listen. Oh, uh, Cindy says she wants raw caps to polish yourself. Gotcha. So raw caps of what? Is there any particular stone? Hi, Suni. Hi, Tom. Diana, you're so cute. Diana Schnetzka said she could have continued buying more, but she wanted to leave um, some stuff for everyone else. That is so sweet of you, Diana, but don't worry, Diana. I already, I already have a stash coming in. Um, I'm going to go and pick it up, and I'll even pick up some more stuff that you guys like. So don't worry about that. I got your back. Don't worry, Diana. But that is very sweet of you, Diana. Really sweet of you. That's very, you know, kind. Uh, that's that's a good heart. I appreciate that. But don't worry. It'll come back to you full for uh, uh, full circle because I'm going back. I'll get some good stuff. Okay. Uh, Lisa Jacober says I like more of the turquoise chunks. They had more. Really, you guys. Um, the pinch bill big enough for the ring. Oh, the pinch bill big enough for the ring. What ring? Okay, so I had, so the, the pinch bill, oh, sorry. So the pinch bill that I used that put my ring, I put two rings in it. Yara, do you have a pinch bill near you? Let me show you guys real quick. Yeah, uh, Kristen has them. Kristen, I gave you all, oh, that Yara's got them. So the pinch bill, here. So the pin, the, so this bale is a hinge bale, okay? So you open it up and you can put here. Let me put this big, huge ring in there because that's a big one. And you can definitely put a chain through it. Do you guys see that? And so you can hang anything you guys want. See that? And that's a wide men's ring. That's the turquoise one we did. So, and then I was able to put my rings in it yesterday, which I know a lot of people like to do and there you go yeah it's an, a really nice presentable way to wear rings or anything that you have that is large it doesn't have to be a ring but i'm just saying a lot of people do do that you know if their hands are swollen and they really you know sometimes to be honest with you i'll take my ring off if i don't want it to get dirty or somewhere and it's funny when that ring leaves me it's like I'm lost, I need it with me, or like I don't, uh, I put it somewhere, where did I put it? Then I start panicking. But if it's on me, like let's, so let's say I had this pinch bill on a pendant and I'm doing something and I don't wanna wear my ring, uh, put it right on this and wear it. You know, a lot of women also too told me that they use their uh, hinge bales uh, a lot when like let's say you go to a rest uh, restroom and you're washing your hands and you take your ring out off and you put it somewhere you know sometimes that's majority where a majority place where rings get misplaced is in the restroom a public restroom commonplace 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 there you go I'm trying to think of a million things right now so that's the um, gold hinge bail majority of the places common places so yeah and then what else and then so we have two pinch bales one with a larger uh, carol they i think they do have hinge bales in silver i'll check it out i'll check it out uh, when i go there i'll have a mission and i'll make a beeline to where they are and i'll scope everything out you guys and get them i promise promise i used to be a girl scout scout say girl scout honor <laughs> i don't remember being uh-huh i don't know i don't remember scott's uh, oh that's boy scouts uh Scou i don't know S boy scouts girl scouts whatever it's such a long time ago i don't know so what else are we doing that's it okay okay you guys i've done that took them off and put lotion yes exactly susan she's taken them off put lotion on and forget that's my biggest thing so Either you wear it around your ring, I mean your neck, or um, it's a good one. Oh, you're welcome, you guys. You're welcome, Carol. 
Okay, you guys. Yes. Oh, Diana, you said that you know another round is coming. Oh, I love you guys. I'm going to give you guys hearts back. Dun, 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 dun. You guys, yes, another round is coming. And now that I know what you guys are looking for, I will personally hand pick these. So you just want, I just want you guys to know these were picked by me. I have, they spoke to me. And I hope they speak to you, but I have a feeling they will because they keep speaking. It's so funny. I'm spam hiding you. Okay, you guys. So, um, all of this stuff is obviously in stock. We'll ship these out to you guys immediately and get you. Well, uh, yeah, I know. Kristen says, as soon as possible. Okay, as soon as possible. Yeah, I know. You're always like, we don't have 100 people working here. I know. Unfortunately, so you guys, I think we're done. I'll see you guys here tomorrow. Uh, I might work on the amber. Oh, I might work on the rose quartz. I don't know. There's so many cool things to work on. But I'll see you guys here tomorrow. I love and appreciate every single one of you guys. So I wish you a wonderful, blessed day. Have fun. Enjoy. Take it easy. Don't put stress on yourself. Just enjoy today. All right, you guys. I love you all. Thanks for watching. See you guys here tomorrow. <coughs> Bye.